Good morning, good morning, good morning. Monday here again. Holy moly. Or as I have started to say, holy shit balls. I have no idea where that expression has come from. I blame you, Carly. But anyway, yes, Monday morning, bright and early. Got in and out of school a little quicker this morning. So I've got a jam packed day today playing catch up from being out of the office last week. Crazy hair, I look like a lion or something. Anyway. Uh, so, I thought this morning I would be downloading on my Ridiculously Bananas four days at Tony Robbins last week. However, I need a little more time to process it all. So, today is not going to be about him. Don't run away. I will come back and share all the amazingness with you. Um, and yes, before somebody asks, I am in my car, my favorite location to do videos. It's just easy sometimes, you know, you just got to do what works. So the C word is approaching and I just opened my calendar and did what none of you should do and counted how many Fridays we have until Christmas. And there's bloody well 14 of them, which is not very many at all. So I find a lot of small businesses get a bit caught out by Christmas and my hypothesis on that is because Christmas, yes, it's the 25th of December, we all know that. However, the advertising, the planning, the marketing, the shopping all starts next month, to be honest. All the big retailers will, well, actually, all the big retailers already have Christmas decorations in store. <sighs> too early but all the Christmas gift guides are coming out early October um, and people are already budgeting if not buying for Christmas oh, shocker I am one of those people I hate the last minute Christmas rush and being look maybe a little OCD I do get on the front foot and plan ahead and I have started to write out my lists and I know what I'm buying the kids and all that kind of jazz so my message to you this week is to stop put tools down just for an hour or even half an hour and have a think about what Christmas means for your business and I don't mean what it means like it means a time of joy eggnog and kissing under mistletoe I mean how are you going to bring it to life uh, and maximize that opportunity that you've got for your business. So we all know that there's a shitload of extra disposable income spent at Christmas time, whether it be on entertaining, on personal grooming, uh, let alone on presents and gifting for every man and his dog. So what does that mean for your business and how are you gonna capitalize on that opportunity? You've got customers out there looking for things with a, with an increased list of problems um, and I don't mean deep dark problems I mean I have to buy the school teacher something what am I gonna buy her I have to buy my parents uh, my in-laws the man on the corner da, 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 all that kind of stuff I've got an increased number of things that I need to do at this time I need to set the table I need to entertain significantly more I'm going to Christmas parties I need more outfits all of that sort of stuff is obviously God, on drugs like heightened to an nth degree at Christmas so in the preparation for Christmas and that does start in October so if I haven't already scared the pants off you this morning the next thing I'm gonna say is particularly if you're in Victoria is that school holidays start this week end of this week and then when the school holidays are over and we all know how quickly they just zoom, zoom by it's going to be well into October first second week of October and that is, boom, Christmas, well and truly upon us. So I don't want to freak you out. I don't want to scare you and say, hurry up, you're running out of time. But you kind of are. <laughs> so what I want you to do this week is just to find half an hour somewhere in your schedule. Um, it can be when the kids are there or when the kids aren't there. It can be a family activity, whatever it's going to take to get you thinking about what you need to be doing at Christmas or in preparation for Christmas to maximize that opportunity for your business. That might be updating your lead magnet to be more Christmassy. It might be tailoring your social media to be more Christmassy. It might be a collaboration or a partnership, a promotion, a gift with purchase, um, a Christmas gift pack, some kind of offer. It might be a bundle where you bundle together 
a spray tan and a wax or whatever it might be that suits your business needs, get on the front foot and start planning that now because we all know how fast this year has gone and to be honest, this back quarter of the year goes faster than you ever are prepared for. Um, and then once you've got clear on what Christmas or what you want to do with Christmas or how you're going to activate, do you think I could say Christmas again? how you're going to activate Christmas, Christmas, Christmas in your business, you can start to put that action plan in place. And again, it doesn't have to be a 27 page document that freaks you out. It's just literally getting really clear on how you're going to activate it in your business. Hey, Danielle, awesome to see you. Yes, you will be having a whopper of a Christmas, I would suspect. And I was thinking about your business this week, actually, and thinking how awesome your product is for teachers. Hmm, opportunity there. Feels like a, just an awesome little product uh, to be giving to classroom teachers who just need that touch of special gift. Anyway, I'm completely sidetracked. So Christmas is coming, don't freak out. Just start planning and get clear on what it means for your business and how you're gonna do it. And that is not 47,000 different things because that will only overwhelm yourself and your customers. Choose three or five things and they might be things that you're gonna do in store. If you're a retail outlet, you might do you know special gift wrapping or a special music or download the um, playlist or you know, Christmas drinks or VIP parties or whatever it might be. Wow, I feel like an ideas machine this morning. On fire. <laughs> but um, don't worry about a list of 75,000 things. Just focus on three or five things that are gonna turn your customers on and get people through the door or onto your website or driving that traffic to those products. Teachers love Rocky Roadhouse. Yeah, oh, oh I'm abs that doesn't surprise me whatsoever. And they make great secret Santa gifts. Yes, yes. So if you're looking for a Christmas gift or a secret Santa gift, go and check out Danielle at the Rocky Road House. The most amazing Rocky Road you have ever tried. Uber cute packaging and damn delicious. So boom, I've just solved one of your problems for you. <laughs> All of you for Danielle and also for everybody else who's looking for Christmas gifts. Boom, I should do this more often. So, half an hour this week. It's literally all it takes, half an hour. What are the three big things that you're gonna to do to drive excitement and bring some festivity to your business in the form of an offer, an additional service, theming in your social media or on your website, whatever it might be. What does it mean for your business and how can you get on that front foot? So that when we come back from school holidays and it's ah, middle of October, uh, you're not going, oh yeah, I probably should start thinking about Christmas because Christmas will be here. People would already be shopping and already be looking to solve those additional Christmas product problems that we all have. Getting their body ready, getting their wardrobe ready, entertaining presents, Santa sacks, secret Santa gifts, the works. Uh, it would be well and truly up and running by then. So I really would love to see you getting on the front foot. Comment below if you've got any other ideas or you need any help. I would love to shout out and help you. Um, just, I feel like I've rattled off a thousand things that you could do this morning. So hopefully some of them are helpful. But if you've got no ideas and you're completely stuck on how you're gonna bring Christmas to life in your business, comment below because the women who watch these videos are freaking awesome uh, and you know they'll have ideas for you as well so shout out ask for help put that little hand up don't be ashamed we all have brain farts as my son calls them or brain fades at the best of times and we're all here to help so get on the front foot find that half an hour and start mapping it out plan ahead because the big C word it's gonna be here before we know it I uh, am going on holidays at the end of the week. Ah! I can't even begin to tell you how excited I am. It's been a bananas weekend and this week's pretty chaotic, but uh, shout out if you need my help, I'd love to hear from you. And always with holidays comes self-reflection, planning ahead, new ideas. So I'm a really big believer of different environments stimulating different parts of your brain and I have well and truly experienced that over the last weekend being in Sydney with the great man Tony Robbins and being on holidays for a couple of weeks is absolutely going to be um, I'm taking a notepad and I think I might take my laptop not to do extensive amount of works but work but just to start planning ahead and getting on the front foot with some of what some of bringing those um, plans to life for next year so shout out 
here to help. Would love to hear how you're going in your business. Um, and yeah, just ask a question. Like somebody here will be able to answer it. We'll be able to give you some ideas. Um, I will be able to help as well. So don't be afraid. Have an awesome week. Happy Monday. Yay. New start. Fresh beginnings. All that jazz. Fresh start. New beginnings. Anyway, um, have a good week. Loads of love. Chat soon. Bye.